journey is coming to an end. I promise you, we'll do more of the men. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Because some men have this, you know, feminine side as well. It's been an interesting month on the standpoint. And today we bring you our final program for the year 2023, June, Father's Month. And I have exciting program for you. You've heard about them. They become a sensation. Everybody wants them to cater for their wedding because they know how to show up and they will show up big time and they'll get your, you know, well, I'm not advertising for them, but men's cook. Who are they? Where did they come from? What's the idea behind it all? Yes, they are here in the studio. Today we get to hear their stories and the kind of people who make up the men's cook and who is actually behind it. Is it a woman or a man? It's going to be interesting. Welcome to the Standpoint, last episode for the month of June. That's Father's Month where we have only men coming on the show throughout the month of June. It's been like that forever. And hey, you know that next month, 11th of July, the Standpoint is going to be 15 years. Can you believe it? 15 years. And it's going to be amazing. We're going to have homecoming. Lots of activities lined up. But I'll tell you later on. But let me say thank you to Twinny Craft for my tie and dye uh, fabric. My beads also by Twinny Craft. My anklets by Twinny Craft. And we're so grateful to them. Of course, my skirt and top was made for me by Brie Redua. Always grateful. Always got me covered. And I'm so, so, so proud of her. And of course, my makeup by HV Elegance. HV Elegance always got me covered. And hair by Insula GH. And my shoe, you know, I'm a standing mannequin. My shoe by Awos Unisex Boutique. Rush there. Rush there. 10% discount, especially for the men. Everything, bags, shoes, polo shirt, dresses, what have you. They have it at 10% discount. And it's quality leather. Italian leather, you know, they say leather breathes and it gives your feet energy. They are at Tessano and East Ligon. They are me on the Shashi Road. We take a break when we come back. We meet them. Men's Cook. The standpoint. The standpoint. Welcome back to the stand for and yesterday we are celebrating a group of younger men who have taken Ghana and indeed Africa and the world by storm. They have a huge following and I remember uh, my niece insisting that she wants them to cook for her wedding because she would train. You know, they just, when they attend your event, they come in full force. Not just the food, but then they make sure they entertain your guests and they give you the boost on social media. They haven't done anything for me, I mean, personally. They haven't catered for me personally, but I follow them and I think they deserve to be celebrated as we celebrate men on the standpoint the month of June. Men's cook. Before I get to them, let me say thank you to Juice Time from the farm to the factory to the bottle to the shop. They do it all. So it's 100% fruit juices. And then, of course, Venom Mineral Water, 100% pure quality water. You know what I mean? Balanced pH levels, low in sodium, all the required minerals in there. And aside all that, they are changing lives and sharing love wherever they go and back in a charitable organization. So when you drink the water, you know that you are also saving lives and sharing love across the country. Thank you. Thank you so much to them. And malaria is still here. We can do something about malaria. It's still killing and it's a shame. So please take it seriously. Anytime you feel sick, don't just go to the pharmacy to buy a drug or something. Go to the hospital, get checked. And if you're a pregnant woman, when you're giving your SP, take it. Sleep under insecticide mosquito net. It's given out for free. Don't use it as a fence. Don't use it for sewing. Please use it to save your life and to save lives. Okay? Well, let me come to the set and introduce my men who are cooking. <laughs> my men who are cooking. It's amazing. Well, um... Hmm. Seated next to me is Wisdom Obeyinyako, who is the manager 
for Men's Cook. Welcome to the standpoint. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Great. And next to him is a man we literally forced to be part of this program. <laughs> he is Roland Efutu. He's an IT guy with Men's Cook. So what? The Men's Cook is a, like an organization. You have IT. You have or be you. They do all the social media things. Oh, no. Oh, no, be you. He's, there. He's there. Admin support, yeah. but with uh, IT. So okay. he does our IT stuff. So from data management to server, making sure that we have the right okay. uh, tools to work with with respect to information technology. But basically, the cook will not be just food you go cook. We'll have <laughs> IT teams and all that. But oh, good, it's okay. good to know. It's a really structured business, yes, right? Yes, of course. It's, Properly. Yes, it's, it's a, a limited liability company okay. Okay. registered in 2019. I was like, where did you guys come from? Suddenly <laughs> like you're taking up a men's cook, men's cook everywhere. Um, the story actually is a very interesting one. Tell me. Um, it began with uh, one of us mm. who, who founded the company. Okay. For him, cooking and lifestyle came naturally to him. And he, back then, he was a socialite. So okay. I think one occasion, he posted Jollof on his uh, Snapchat story. Okay. And it caught fire. Everybody kept on asking, did you cook this? Did you cook this? And then he saw that this can be turned into a business. Okay. So then he started with it. Then um, here we are. Uh, so, so he hadn't done any catering or whatever. He cooked the jollof for himself and he posted it. Oh, no, he used to work with uh, Golden Tulip. Oh, okay. Okay, so okay. He, was, he was with the Golden Tulip. As a chef? No, as a as a cook, as actually. A cook. Okay. actually, so okay. through so he rose through the ranks from okay. the, from being a cook to a chef okay. until he left. Okay. okay, so doing one of these, one of his um, posting food, and he likes food styling. He's a very okay. creative person when it comes to uh, okay. food styling. So that's when he started. So for personally, for me, I was with him national service time. I was with him at the national board for small scale industry. Okay, so you've known him for. Oh, yes, he's been my friend. Okay. So. Okay. When the idea caught fire and then he realized that it's something that we can turn into a business, he mm. contacted me because I have pure passion for small scale and medium sized enterprise development. So okay. I brought my competencies okay. to bear and then here we are. Roland, how did you become a part of it? Okay, so um, well from way back, the CEO of Men's Cook has been my friend back in school. Okay. And uh, sharing actually, um, he was we went to Humasa Polytechnic together. So back then, I used to go to his place. It's a funny story, actually. Okay. Um, you used I, to go for it because it's not. Yeah. <laughs> food go there, food go there. You knew food go there. I knew that. <laughs> so, small so, so, still in two, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when he started, um, he asked me to come around. You know, um, start, just like um, Wisdom said, something small then we not see um from the beginning but along the line this was something that could build up to be a, a very huge thing mm -hmm. and i remember very well back then um okay from the beginning i used to drive him a lot okay so in the car we'll be talking and be like charlie this thing is going to be very big like yes i believe in you mm -hmm. and funny back then he was seeing the vision I wasn't seeing. Exactly. And this vision he was seeing, uh, this is the vision manifesting like life. And it's amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's only God who can do this. Do this, yeah. It's only God. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, the two things you have brought, the dynamics you brought in to the importance of network yeah. and friendships. Yeah. Because both of you are friends. Yes. Yes. Almost everybody, the core team members, mm. is related to him one way or the other. And so the business actually started as uh, f friends coming together to make something out of their lives. Okay. Yeah, and then okay. we, we, we decided to put a structure to it okay. and then bring other people on board. Because at the point in time, we realized that the traction we are getting, the kind of businesses we are getting, we cannot do it by all are on, on our own. So right. we decided to open up and then mm. bring pa uh, people in okay. and okay. structure the business. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Roland, how long have you been working with him? Wow. <laughs> okay. As men's cook? As men's cook. Great. So um, as men's cook, I think I came in in uh, 
three years ago okay. in March. In by now, you know the fifth <laughs> job. <laughs> if you write that or you, you when you go, you just go to your office. You know you go to the kitchen so go there. <laughs> you know, um suppose when you pass the kitchen there, you so pick some one or two things. You they like you they pack that go go chop. <laughs> you they pack oh, that go go chop. No, 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 yeah, no more, but <laughs> you also pick some one or two yeah, tips from um the chefs. The chefs. Yeah, so okay. As for men's school, when you're part of us. Uh, if there's nothing at all, you know how to eat well. <laughs> <laughs> you are you get to the dancing <laughs> part. I don't know whether it's a requirement to be a part of it. Oh, you have to know how to dance to be. Yeah, yeah. but you are all guys. So currently, how many are you? So officially, we are we are engaged people. With about eighty-two people. Whoa. So we have forty-six people on permanent payroll, and wow. then the rest. So. Um, we get this a lot. We get this reaction a lot because what? People, <laughs> people think that oh, they are a group of guys sitting somewhere. If you have events, you call them. them. No, we have structured. So we, I am, I am in charge. I'm the lead for the admin. He, the founder and the CEO, is in charge of the creative side. We have a chef who is in charge of the kitchen, mm -hmm. and then we have our operation and marketing manager who is in charge of closing the deals and making sure that yeah. the business stays afloat. Yeah. So. We, we also came out to, we came to a position where we realized that some of us had the privilege to go to school. And mm. as a result of that, we were equipped with employability. I right. mean, but there are a lot of people who have passion, but because they did not have the opportunity to go to school, they don't really ha have the opportunity to work and make ends meet. So we came up with a, a program, an internship program. So we are open young people, SS leavers, people who are completed university, mm. anybody that ha is passionate about food or anything that we do yeah. in, our, in our business, we, we take you, we train you, and then as the business, so the idea is as the business grow, instead of going outside to recruit, these trainees yes. become readily employable and then they, we rope them into wow, the system. Wow, you have a strategy. Yes. Wow. What was the average age? 23, 24, I'll say that. So you're all young people. Very, very young. young. Very, very young. <laughs> we work with Gen Z's a lot. Gen Z? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what that means. <laughs> I know what that means. I know what that means. I to, how was it like managing, you know, these group of young men? <laughs> For, I always tell people that um, the brand, me being part of the brand, officially I was with them since 2018. Actually, I joined, but I was given some time to go and get married. So after my marriage, and then I came right. and then joined officially. Um, you were actually given time to go and... Oh, marry. yes, yes, yes. I go and, <laughs> go and marry. I was given time to go and marry. So after I... So who catered for your marriage? Oh, of course. Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, my friend is a chef. So <laughs> uh, of course, they, they came through for me. But uh, managing Gen Z is, 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 is tough. Because most of us who are in our 30s yeah. have been through a system where there is straight jacket way of doing things. Mm -hmm. So you have to report to work at nine. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure your report is ready and all that. But with Gen Z's, uh, you've c I've come to realize that you need to be flexible yeah. with them. And if you create the room for them, they, br they bring their ideas. Yeah. The best, yeah. So, but they work within their own time. Exactly. Their so, own. <laughs> so they they don't want to be put in a box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is good for us right. because our business thrive on innovation and creativity. Right. So if engaging these uh, Gen Zs is actually putting us on a, uh, giving us the edge, they mm -hmm. they, they, they they come out with their best, mm -hmm. and um, it's. It's quite dicey too because in as much as you have to give them their room, also the business the business of doing business has to be has to be paid attention to. Yeah. yeah. So as a leader, you also have to make them understand why they are supposed to do this. There's the reason why they are supposed to be at work on time, the reason yeah. why they are supposed to deliver their reports on time, the, you know. Yeah. So it's more or less like Engaging them exactly. more, exactly. Communicating with them rather yeah. than giving them, them instructions. instructions. Uh, if you give them instruction, it won't work. Oh no, no, he's, oh, uh, he's a millennial. But he has he is a millennial. 
the temptation of you becoming a Gen Z when you're in men's cook is high because <laughs> you are surrounded <laughs> by <laughs> Gen Z. <laughs> Barola, how has it been working with you know? Um, so far, the experience has been um, amazing because I feel we have a very solid team to work with um, from management level to the chefs to the banquet side. Everybody is, is striving to give their best because when you realize how hard some of these boys work to deliver for the clients, it's amazing because sometimes I get the chance to go for this set up yeah. and you realize you have an event at 7 a.m and you have the boys setting up all night long and then these guys will be at the setup do everything they have to do come back and then they make sure they are on time for the event to deliver because at the end of the day the client's experience is what we are looking for we, are, we want to give the clients the best of the experience and we want to, we want to give the client the men's cook experience that's what we are looking for, because we and don't. What is the men's cook experience? Great. Wow. The men's cook experience. <laughs> two things: yeah. good food, coupled with showmanship. Showmanship. That's it. On that showmanship, <laughs> let me take a break. Let me say thank you to all our sponsors um, and, of course, um, our supporters. We are so grateful to them. We take a break. When we come back, we get to talk more, and we'll be joined by the man Ike. <laughs> we'll be back. The standpoint. The standpoint. Welcome back to the standpoint. And yes, we are chatting with reps from men's cook. Uh, they've been cooking. Most of the time they cook for women too. So today they are on women's show. And as you know, uh, uh, Joan is for men on the standpoint. And um, we are getting to know them and the story behind it as well. Again, let me say thank you to uh, Twini Crafts for my tie and dye fabric. And my dress skirt and top was made for me by Brie Radio. I thank you so much to her. My beads and um, anklets by Twini Craft as well, and hair by Inshilo GH, makeup by HB Elegance. They have an amazing place now, somewhere around Adenta. They have a spa, they have a salon, they do makeup training. She travels across the country and across the continent. The last time I spoke to her, Prissy, she was in Liberia. She's amazing young lady. I can't wait to have her on the standpoint one of these days. But today, it's about the men. Interesting story so far, and we've been joined by Isaac Owusu, who is in charge of marketing and operations. Welcome to the standpoint. Thank you. And you two, how long have you been with Men's Cooks? I've been with Men's Cooks from the start. Mm. Yes, yeah, so we started this whole thing together, and we are here today. You started with who? <laughs> so, with the team, with Juju himself here. <laughs> and uh, Whose idea was it? Okay, so that's uh, Patrick. Okay. Patrick Devo, yeah, he, that was his idea. He used to, what's the relationship with Patrick? He's a close friend of mine. In fact, we were, we were roommates way back on campus. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. so after school, you know, he decided, okay, yeah, I want to do this. You know, he yeah. has been uh, interested in catering. Mm -hmm. So he started it, he called us, we came together, and here when we are. When he called you, what was your reaction? <clears throat> you know, initially, I was like, are you sure you want to do this? Because as at that time, he was with one of these big top hotels yeah. working as no, a well, professional chef. It, yeah. so, go, uh, so I'm like, do you want to quit your job and start this whole thing? And he, he was like, hey, Ike, I want to do this. Come on board, let's do it. You know, that time to, you know, during those banking crisis times. Yeah. Yeah, so it affected me. So I had yeah. to. Uh, so you used to work with the bank? Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, then I said, okay, I think let's do this together. Then we came in by the grace of God. And how has God it been, has been so good far? to us. God has been good. No regrets? No regrets. No regrets. Though challenging. Mm. It's been an interesting journey <laughs> so far. <laughs> yeah. What did your family think? That you're going to do cooking. You're going to join a cooking <laughs> aid or group. Right. So, you know, my family knows him. Okay. Yes, yes. So he has been coming to the house. So they are like, okay, since right now, you know, initially it was like, give it a try and see if see. it will work. Mm -hmm. Instead of staying in the house, writing yeah. applications, Since going here and there, give it a try. Mm. So after I started one month, two months, I said, this is good. I think we can get mm -hmm. somewhere. So because at the point, you know, when it started, 
the attention was not very focused. He was like, I, I need your attention. In fact, yeah. settle down and let's do this. I said, okay, I'm all in. And by the grace of God. So today, if some bank write to you, say, come work for us, um, you go go? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, <man. laughs> no. <laughs> Wow, so you were all friends of Patrick. He started, he called you, and you all came sure. to be a part of it. And you've been growing the business. Um, we've talked a bit about the kind of people who work in there. We talked about, um, Wisdom has talked about his journey, Roland has done that, and then you just talked about your journey. And it's all because of the vision of one person. Sure. And sometimes it's difficult to understand the person's vision. Yes, of you know, but it looks like you've all tagged in. And I've been told that the main um, aim or purpose for um, men's cook is to give you good food and then experience of a lifetime. Sure. Showmanship. 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 <laughs> that, that's why you see showmanship. <laughs> showmanship. <laughs> uh, showmanship. Okay. Yes. And um, since operations and marketing, let me ask. And then money that when you are recruiting, is dancing a requirement? <laughs> So in recruitment, we have uh, <coughs> different sections. We have uh, chefs recruitment. That one dancing is not a necessity. Mm -hmm. uh, we have this, the waiters and okay. the service. Yes. Uh, they, we sometimes require them to have some dancing skills to be able to entertain our guests at programs and events. Yes. Yeah. But not for all uh, people. Your people. Some, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, Wisdom, at what point did you guys decide to introduce the dancing aspect of, or it's been part of it from the beginning? I, uh, I, it's interesting how it started. Um, it started with one person, that's Chef Ned. Yeah. So he, he's a very playful person. Okay. So when he's working, he wants to enjoy it, so he's a playful person. So I, I think one of these events we went and then, uh, after the event, they decided to be playful. So yeah. he and then some other guys and then, it caught fire, it, they, it got attraction. The then as a businessman, you will say that, okay, this works. Yeah. And I always have a philosophy, you don't change a winning team. No. So, so far as it's working, why don't we amplify it? Yeah. And that's, so I, when it worked then, sometimes an idea begins as like, um, for want of a better word, a fluke. Yeah. But when you, when you get the response you want, mm. then you put a structure to it. Right, and then, yeah. There's sometimes, like my niece, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> she's also Samantha. <laughs> yeah, Samantha, she came from the way, they came from Virginia. You remember, it, it happened, it was in um, Ju January. They had it at the yes, ice yes, Center. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that was boating. Yeah. Now, she insisted she wanted men's school yeah. because she would train. <laughs> they would post her videos <laughs> and all that. Do you sometimes get, and she did a dance, the men's cook. Yeah. Okay. So how do you do? You 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 go for rehearsals with a bride, or do you get involved with the whole, you know, bridal programming and you know preps and all that? All right. Sure. So you know, uh, just as Julie was saying, the first time, you know, after they did everything, the bride came and was like, "Yeah, we really loved it because the program was quite slow." Mm, yeah. Then I picked from there. So with uh, some of the brides, you know, most of the dance are on social media. Okay. They are routine dance. So and a bride who loves to dance would easily blend in. Okay. I, I recall there was a bride who came to our premises to be able to learn the dance with the <laughs> guys <laughs> so that you can rehearse it on you can practice it on that very day. day. So sometimes some of the brides come in for yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. We, 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 we are available for that. But the, normally is the routine Same dance that people do on social media, yeah. on a TikTok, on Instagram. Yeah. We pick it up. Our boys do it, they are already familiar with it, then we do it together. Mm. Now it looks like you are well sought after. <laughs> you know, like everybody is going everywhere, like all the big boys and the big girls <laughs> in Ghana, when they are having events, and then people wonder if they can afford you, Roland. <laughs> if they can afford a men's cook. Right. Um, okay, F for me personally, I feel men's cook is affordable. Because if you have to compare um, going to a hotel for a buffet, the prices that you are supposed to pay and booking men's cook, I think it's very affordable. Mm -hmm. 
very rare for the world. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes because of because of what people see on social media, mm. they are scared. Yeah. yeah. But when you give the test, make the call, and we make uh, our packages available to you, got, oh, then the price are they are very affordable. Even compared to uh, other people in the industry, mm. we are very affordable. Yeah, and you very give affordable. options. We give yeah, options, var varieties, options. Mm. In fact, you can even customize your own menu for pricing. So okay. We, yes, we're not so like a street jacket something. We are very okay. flexible. So you can tell that I want this, that this, so yeah. you know, yes. that's it. Yeah. And you guys can, can cook oh, yes. in. Sure. Yes. How many chefs do you have? Chefs, I think for now, we have about... Um, because uh, if you say chef, 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 well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, how many people would do the we'll cooking? Make, the, oh, the cooking, about 30 people. About 30 people? Yes. Wow. You know, did you have people who do the local, like you specialize, some will do the continental and some will do the local, yes. you know, some people who know they have to do the proper yeah, local. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. You know, Call your guy for 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people. Food, I mean, food is like music. I mean, everybody love a part to play. Somebody mm. wants soprano, somebody wants alto, somebody wants bass. Mm. So if in the course of um, working, the course of operation, the, it's either the person expresses interest yeah. or the pe manager in charge of them identify that, oh, yeah. A, B, C, D, looking at his posture towards food, let's switch him here. And then when you switch, Hmm. It works. So we have sections. The we have section. local, we have our protein people, we have our carbohydrate people, we have our vegetable and salad people, we have our frying people, we have packaging, we have logistics and transport, we have admin, we have... Charlie, I mean, I hear you guys. I mean, it is just for men who, yes, we have chefs, but I don't know if Ghana, in Ghana, I mean, there's been any group like you. You guys are where it's all men who do just like we've had the Berman Kwan Chokba and all those things, but to do, I don't know if is there anything like that? Did you guys meet some people in the industry like that who do this and they're all men? Is this you? Sure. What is your background like? I'm a business person, so uh, I have a I did first degree marketing. Okay. And I did a MSc International Business at okay. UG. Yes, okay. so I'm a business So background. business, so you there, you are in your corner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is what <laughs> sure. you do. And sure. he is interested in bringing small, um, building small businesses yeah. and all that. Yeah. Uh, but I beg, now you people, you know the small business. <laughs> <laughs> you know the small business. <laughs> and he too. Uh, so, so whatever your background is, mm. it is possible to get employment with men's cook sure. it's not just about you knowing how to cook yeah. or anything yeah. what's a usual day like at men's cook okay so uh <laughs> do you have booking every day we don't do uh only events you know that's what people see us for okay we do take uh, daily orders so if someone is uh, wants soup can call place your order if someone wants a, a portion of jollof fries you can call place your order so on a daily basis, we take these orders. The events are mostly for the weekends. Okay. Yeah. So like every day you are doing something. Yes, every day. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Please, if I want to work there, what position will you give me? Uh, maybe <laughs> <the> public affairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not bad. You know, it's I I just imagine from yesterday there must be fun working in that environment. Most of it the time is, it is, is fine, but sometimes it's not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like every business, there are yeah, challenges. Yeah. So what are some of the challenges? First of all, um, I, from my personal point of view, um, I feel that the uh, acceptance is there, but sometimes people find it difficult to believe that we are men and we are just men doing it. Because we find ourselves in a female-dominated um, 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 industry. Mm -hmm. But I also say that there is even a brighter side of it. It also brings to bear that if we come to your wedding and we are the men doing, standing the banco life, mm -hmm. serving the food, we are even sending a message to the husband that if you go home, you can also cook for your wife. My kind of guy. Charlie, I don't see her like that. So true, eh? Yes. 
so true. We are yeah. sending a message that we are all men and we are cooking and serving, uh, doing the dishes and all that. So it's sending a clear message that, okay, in our part of the world, we believe that, okay, women. Women are yeah, the ones. Uh -huh, we... But you can, you can be a man and still be useful in the kitchen. Charlie, I didn't fear you say. <laughs> <laughs> Look at why you take that same part. <laughs> but that's so true, eh? Yeah. That's so true. Yeah. I mean, sending a message that, yes, men can do it. So it's not, Charlie, there's a message in there. My bit of me, I'll go tip it in there. <laughs> in there. That's, that's interesting. That's interesting. Because, yes, I've heard people say that there are women who, you employ women to cook, do the cooking, and then you guys will front it because yeah. you guys don't know how to cook. Sure. You just get the women to do it. <laughs> no, 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 yes, yes. Yeah. It'll be like, oh, uh, uh, for them, the women will cook, then they will come and dance. That's yeah. what people think. Okay. If we should bring them to the kitchen, <laughs> that's when they will, they will know the heat that's what, the heat's going so, on. So, I kitchen. mean, truly, it's all men. It's all men. From Kring Kring to Kran Krai. It's all men. You it's don't have women. women working for you. You don't have women. But uh, I think... Uh, the stewards and the, we have a steward. the housekeeping. Housekeeping, yeah. yes. But for the cooking. Some things, no matter what. You go, yeah, I get you. I get you. Like, you know, there are organizations like AWD, African Women Development Fund. They made a conscious effort that everybody there, it's a woman. You know, everybody working there, except the security and then the drivers and some of the, you know, stewards in there. So, I, I, I yeah, I, I get you. I get you. So, they are the ones who are females, but when it comes to cooking and all that, you do that. Mm. How does that affect your social life? It, in fact, it, it makes it fun. Mm. I, until joining men's cook, I didn't know ladies love chefs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 you know, who won it? Did you come for you? Who won it? <laughs> I mean, it's quite You know, sometimes they be like. Oh, these people, they've been taking our girls, they've been taking our, no, not, not, not on the bad side. side but yeah. it's, it's quite interesting. You go out, you, you know. Married, have you married? I'm, I'm not married. Yeah, but about to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, you, let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay let's go. On. Okay. All let's right, go. So, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's quite interesting. You have a social life. Aside the cooking, aside the events, mm. you do have fun. You go yeah. out. Even the, 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 the events alone, are fun itself. Yeah. Yes, so it's just normal. It's normal. Okay. okay, we take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at where they want to take men's cook. In the meantime, say thank you to Juice Time, 100% fruit juices, Venom Mineral Water, Bigo Drinks. Thank you to Yep Cleaning Services. They take care of our environment, everything cleaning, fumigation, whatever it is, they do it. Thank you to Phoenix Decor. Mrs. Sofori Poko and the family, we are grateful. Auntie Vera, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. We are so grateful. Auntie Vera gives us food every time. She's a caterer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for, for how many years now? You know, she's been on the stand, but we're so, so grateful. And she loves you guys because she has sons and, you know, they also are taking after what she's doing and getting involved. So, I mean... This is no competition. It's just complimenting what everybody does. You should invite her one of these states. Mm -hmm. We'll take a break. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back to The Standpoint. Yes, don't forget, When Women Cry is still available, selling at 100 Ghana cities. And then, of course, the other books, A Bet of Me, 50 Nuggets at 50, The Best of You, Room 5005, and Broken But Beautiful. All available at the vendor, various vendor locations. Just take advantage of it. Get a good read, and I promise you, you won't regret it. July, 11 July, 15 years of the standpoint is going to be a homecoming. Since they've been on, they're all coming. 15 years, the number of people who've been on the standpoint, you can imagine. It's going to be exciting. And uh, we have so many programs planned ahead of that, and we'll let you know. But now we are celebrating Men's Cook, a group of young men who have, I'm used to talking about women, <laughs> young men who have come together to establish something that is making not just Ghana proud, but you know, Africa proud, you know. Um, they don't have to do 200 hours of cooking. They, they, they haven't said they want any Guinness <laughs> Book of Records. <laughs> they are happy with what they're doing. But we want to find out, you know, 
um, how far they want to go. But Ike, you joined us later. So let me ask you, are you making money marketing? There must be money in there. Asking for the company. For the company. <laughs> for the business. You know, uh, loss, we make money, but the money also goes back to tax business. Mm. Yes. So uh, we, I wouldn't say we are making too much profit. Right. We are trying to build. We are still yeah. building the company. So mm. yes, money is coming in, but it's for building the company. Yeah, because I hear you have how many workers? 80 plus 82. workers? 82. Directly yeah. indirectly. Normally, I try to qualify it because, you know, sometimes you say 82 and then tax people and senior people come yeah, after you. Yeah. yeah. So the 46 people are people who are on my payroll oh, okay. that we pay. Okay. And then the uh, other the 40, 40. Uh, other 30 something okay. are the intense trainees. Some are trainees and then, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, you, you expand and you Hope. keep it, so you yeah. reinvest Re the money. Yeah. <sighs> taxes. Uh, How are you doing with the taxes? Taxes. It's been really challenging. You know, sometimes uh, they come at you and uh, you try to explain they are not ready for it. They, they've seen an event, you've done an event for this particular person on social media. They do their estimates, you're supposed to get this amount of money. How can they make, that's what I don't understand. How do they make their you, estimates? You know, they, they, they came to the office and, no, uh, we've been following your social media. This week you did three events. You're supposed to uh, have, the, looking at your menu, the price per head is this. So when you multiply by the number, you're supposed to get this money. So you're supposed to pay this amount of... You're like, no, it doesn't work like that. Because yeah. some of the events are even for free. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the, the events you are seeing on social media yeah. with people there, what if the event was for free? Yeah. So, you know, sometimes... The, because, the, because it's a promotional yeah. strategy as yes. well. There are certain people you do for them because you know that they will also give you clients. Yeah. So, it's, yeah, it's it The aggression that comes with the money is, is, is serious. Sometimes, last time one of them came and I was like, if you want us to close out the company, just tell us we'll close out the company. Because we are yeah, trying to add that. Do you sometimes feel like even well, giving up? Yes. I, I yes. most of the time deal with the regulatory authorities and also I'm the finance guy there. Yeah. And sometimes you try to explain to them that oh, this, what you see on social media does not mean it's money. Yeah, because there are some events, like you said, because of social capital reasons. Exactly. You do, you do, and sometimes you make losses. And looking at even our business model, it is very, very expensive mm -hmm. because we house about 75% of the boys in East Legon. Wow. And <laughs> rent, in, rent in Accra, everybody knows rent yeah. in Accra because yeah. most of these guys are... Are people who always want to give opportunity to and sometimes by the nature of the job you need to keep them around so that you can keep an eye on them so that you know that you are equipping them with the skills right. that they, they need to be able to function and some I remember one day I was in the office and I told them that if it's left with me alone being with the brand for this uh, being with the brand for this long I can I can secure a visa and leave the country yeah but it's it's it has become something that has has like as extended beyond, beyond us. us. Yeah. Now, if I want to quit, I cannot quit because we have young people, people who are looking who, up, who are looking up to you. Yeah. Yes, their parents. Some of them, their parents depend on them. Yeah. Some have siblings depending on them, and all that. So sometimes it's frustrating, yeah. and especially I don't know if it's safe for me to say this on yeah. on, on set, but yeah. I feel that we uh, businesses like us need a lot of support. Of course, need a lot of support. Of course, because. I, I remember I went to the tax office and I was like, you are chasing me. I brought myself, because when I registered a company, I came there and yeah. I said, I want to, to pay taxes. But I have competitors who, mm. don't, who you, don't, you are not going after. after. Yeah. I will send an invoice. That's, that's, that's <laughs> the hard system. It's so, yeah. you know, you the one trying to do the right thing. You are always being chased. And there's so many people <laughs> doing the wrong thing. And they, 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 they get care. away with it. I'll send an invoice to a client and I'll be like, okay, you are adding tax. I've received an invoice from ABCD, there's no tax. So it makes you expensive. So what do you do as a business person? So you see that you lose the client or you compromise. So sometimes if 
we are going after everybody. Let's make the field a, a level playing, playing field for everybody, everybody so that we can all... I mean, sometimes it feel like you are being targeted. I mean, yeah. excuse me to say it, but yeah. sometimes the way at which all of them come at you, you feel like, oh, something is wrong somewhere. And mm. sometimes it's not the best and it doesn't encourage us to build. To, yeah. Because the vision yeah. of us is to actually build. Yeah, because you're young people. Yes. There's so many young people yeah, out there, there who don't have jobs. Exactly. <laughs> you know, mm. over how many unemployed graduates? <laughs> it's, you know, a whole, somebody said it's a whole country by itself. Yes. It true. used to be a constituency. Now it's, it's a country. whole country, yes. You know, by it, itself. Anyway, what's the bigger dream? What's next? We want to go international. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are looking at going international, uh, yes, praying all over the world. We want our name to be heard, right? But I want to establish ourselves in Ghana, right. be a household name in Ghana, mm. then we go outside, mm. we spread our wings, spread your wings. Yes, that, that's the dream. There are a lot of young men out there looking for jobs, they've gone to school. They want, you know, office job, work to set and tie. <laughs> you know, you, you, you work with a company that is food, kitchen. What's your advice to such young men? Because mm. in my inbox, you get all the time. Mm. I've finished school. I'm home for the past five years, six years. I don't have a job. Mm. Please help me get a job. You know, sometimes you just wonder, what's your advice? What I have to say is, usually you just don't have to go for the suit and tie find something you're passionate about start with that when you start be consistent with it mm. you come out strong you build something out of it mm -hmm. I, you know i i used to uh, be in the financial side you know mm -hmm. i'm the i'm the suit and type person. So we call him official. <laughs> <laughs> so when I started this, I would come to work with my shirt, with my tie. <laughs> no, 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 no. And his brother would be like, Ike, here is home. Just, just be free. Just casual. So yeah. and then I got used to it. So it's not, it's not about the suit, it's not about the tie, no. Just anything your hand will just mm -hmm. touch that you can get money out of, Probably. do it. Yeah. That's what I would advise. Okay, okay. Not right now. Office work is boring. Yeah. Yeah. It's boring. It's boring. It's not interesting. Yeah. So anything you can do outside office mm -hmm. by your own, just do it. Do Once it's it. bringing you money, yeah. just do it. Yeah. Money there. For me, I would say that you always have to be very sensitive to opportunities. Yeah. Mm. I'll I'll share my story with Men's Cook. You know when. He, Patrick started. He, he used to be my friend. So I knew that he wanted to start a business mm -hmm. like that. So one day I was in a trotter and he called me. Oh, I've got a gig. But I don't, I, I don't have anybody to do invoice for me. And I said, OK, send it over. I'll do the invoice for you. So I remember I was having my laptop was plug and play. Mm -hmm. So I had to go and look for a friend's office and then plug and do the I did. And then he won the contract. He came back again. And I saw that there's an opportunity. There is an opportunity for me to be part of the team. team. So I called him and said, yo, I can do this for you. And another thing is that most of us start looking from the top. Because when we started, if I tell you my salary, you, you run away. <laughs> but knowing that if you put in the work, it will pay. I, I put in the work and... By the grace of God, here we are. Yeah. So I would tell the young people that be sensitive to opportunities right. and start by looking from the down, yeah. not from the top. Now, all of you were friends with Patrick before he started. Now you are working for him yeah. or with him. Yeah. Has he affected the friendship in any way? <laughs> <laughs> I would say you should be able to balance the two. When uh, we are working, this work. After work, yeah. then we can go to other duties. So the, if you're not able to balance the two, you might think, oh, he's my friend and he's, he's shouting at me mm -hmm. and he's instructing me. Maybe, no. You must know where to draw the yes, line. Yes, you must know where to draw the line. Because after work, when you go outside work, he's the same old person. But if you, are, if you don't distinguish the two and you want to mix the two, you mess, you mess the whole thing up. And because this is a business. This is a business. And it has to grow. And this yes. is where you earn your salary. Sure. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for coming to share the Men's Cook story yeah. and okay. your personal journeys with Men's Cook. Thank you for we just me. want to celebrate you for Father's Day. So we just have a little package from my own people, Geisha. Hola, Sta! Yeah, so this is a package for Geisha yeah, to you. Pass it oh, on. Thank you, lovely. And then, lovely. oh, thank then. you so much. Yes, sir. Yes, thank then. You so much. This thank is you. this, yeah, from thank Geisha. You. And then for my Tweeny Craft, Ooh. we have some little token of beads thank you. for you. You thank know what, busy. Thank you. Oh. Uh -huh. My beads here. Yeah. Thank you. Let me show you them how to. Hey, this packet, me, they don't put mine in <laughs> special this day. Okay, so oh, this is a. You know this bead? You don't mm -hmm. know this bead. You don't know the name. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they stand for. What does it stand for? <laughs> when you grow up, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but like I tell you, this is a very quality bead mm -hmm. from Niger. Oh, wow. Yeah, very quality beads. Mm -hmm. So you wear it with pride. <laughs> that from all of you. And then we also have package of drain and then water from Venom and all water, oh, wow. Trillium, Fantastic. to say we celebrate. Hey, you're on fine, no, Charlie. It matches <laughs> with your <laughs> it matches with your clothes at ABC. <laughs> Charlie, this one I dress, I go collect up. Wow. <laughs> See? Oh wow. Oh, yeah. It's really nice. It, it all blends with the let me see my own Let me see yours. Hey, oh, you also yeah, have brown. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's true. Oh, and then yeah. yours, yours too, you yeah. have black in there. Yes, I, have, I think I have black. I mean, I'll be prophetess. So you yeah. 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 yeah, you see? You see? <laughs> this, oh, wow. This is, really cool. this is cool. This is cool. This is nice. This is nice. So we say thank you so much. And keep shining. Keep yeah. setting the example. And um, keep growing. We are rooting for you. May Thank God you. continue to uplift you. Yeah. Whilst you take care of others, may he take care of you and your families as amen. well. In Jesus' name, amen. You also amen. say that it's an honor to be recognized by a personality such as you and even a platform such as Standpoint. Some of us started watching it when we were... <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's an yeah. honor to be here. Yeah. It's, it's great. Yeah. I tell people that me, my eye is everywhere. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a mother, a big sister and everything, and I follow people. Mm. You know, sometimes people say, oh, how did they get in? I say, no, I see what you're doing. So people will get in. I want to come on your show. I haven't seen what you've done. <laughs> and, it's also, mm -hmm. and it's just like life. When you start, you're doing well. You get people coming to follow you. Okay. People are misusing social media. Yeah. Oh, yes. Look at what you are yeah. using it for. Exactly. Somebody wants you just because they know that you post them, mm -hmm. you promote their and events when they come and all that. So. Is. Keep doing what you know how to do best, yes, yeah. and may you do more. All right, thank you very much. You I'll be back with a bit of me. Yeah. Ha! What a story. What a story. It takes the vision of one man, one woman, one person, and sometimes two or three to actually build something that becomes so formidable that it spreads like wildfire, that becomes beneficial to society, to even a whole country and continent and beyond. It's one thing having the vision, and it's another thing running with the vision and getting the right people to support you run this vision. And look at how it started. Right from the beginning. That's why you need to be careful. Wherever you find yourself today, be careful the friendship you build, the networks you have. The standpoint is going to be 15 years in July. And people wonder, did nobody cut me slack when I started? People didn't see the vision that I knew what God had told me. And so I decided to run with it and thank God for the network I built as a young reporter, as a journalist, the people I had networked with, the respect, the mutual uh, relationship I built with them. So it was easy getting them to appear on my show, the standpoint, and today here we are, 
15 years consistently coming on TV every single week, at least once a week. And now for the past how many years? Twice a week. And it spread. Everybody knows about the standpoint. It took one woman, this woman here. Not everybody will believe in your vision. Not everybody will support your vision. But if you believe in it, if you work hard at it, if you treat the people, thus you surround yourself well and explain the vision to them, you'll be amazed what you will do. Don't kill your vision too soon because of the challenges, because of the talk, because of the naysayers. If you believe in it enough, it will be tough. You have to make sacrifices, but run with it. I am proud of how far God has brought me. 15 years of the standpoint, the same woman behind it, with the support of great people. My current crew, I've worked with them for how many years now? People come and go. Staff come and go. But we're still here, one day at a time, growing it. Four years, an author, six books, because I decided to stay with the vision. It's been challenging, it's been tough. But we are here by the grace of God. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you and I'm rooting for you. Run with that vision. And I pray you get the right people to support you. I remain the woman with super crazy faith in God. But I know God has given us wisdom. So let's apply wisdom to everything that we do. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now.